All right, coding fans, here we are in our last lesson of variables. Uh, collect the total. So we are given uh, total gems. Uh, and if we notice, we're given six, uh, but there's only four on here. We got a few things that we got to do. Um, we've got to move forward collecting gems. Uh, we'll have to turn right, and then after we go through the portal, we'll have to turn left. And when we get to the very end, we need to keep track of, okay, he can't go right, he can't go left, he needs to turn around. So we've got those three directional things. Um, but because our we start with total gems, we can start off with a comparison operator. So let's go ahead and do our first thing with variables, and that is set a gem counter, G-E-M, capital C-O-U-N-T-E-R. And the value of that gem counter is going to be zero. We start off with none of them. Okay, give myself a couple free lines code and we'll start coding our while loop. We wanna run this while our gem counter, and we can use not equal to or less than, I like less than switch counter. Excuse me, total gems. I'm still thinking about the last one. So while gem counter is less than the total number of gems. Okay. Now we just get, need to get him to move and collect. So move forward. And if there is a gem, so if is on gem, we're going to collect and count it. So collect gem and then gem counter plus equals one. Okay, don't forget to count it. That's my biggest mistake in all of these is we'll get them collecting tons of gems but not counting any of them. So we've got them moving forward and we've got them collecting gems. We've got them comparing the gems to however many we're supposed to collect. Now we need directions. So we have three different directions uh, and I need to take that into account. So the first thing that happens is what is he gonna do if he is blocked? He's got three options turn right, turn left, or turn around. So when we come to the first one, he's not blocked right. So if you are blocked and you're not, exclamation point, not blocked right, meaning you can move right. So if you're blocked and you are not blocked right, meaning you can go right, we're going to turn right. Okay, so that's one situation. We have a completely different scenario, so we need to add an else if. So I just tap the if statement. Oh, I did it so well the first time. All right, tap the if statement, add an else if. All right, else if we're blocked and not blocked left. Okay, don't forget the not. Okay. So if we're blocked and we're not blocked left, meaning if we're blocked and we can go left, we're going to turn left. That will get rid of this. Um, and this will work right now. Uh, we'll, we'll roll through. The issue is, is we get a glitch here at the end. And you'll notice uh, right when we collect, uh, right when we get to the very end, we'll try and jump off the course, okay? Um, so we just need one more else if statement. So else if is blocked, we'll just turn around. And we can do this because it'll go through each of these things first before we get to the final last scenario. And this one will either go turn right, turn right, or turn left, turn left to turn around. All right, let's see if this does it. We turn right, we turn left, we turn around, cool. All right, and it's effortless and it's flawless and we don't need to worry about anything. Perfect. And that's all variables. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one, which is types. Have a great day. Bye.